Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to paint your car's brake calipers. Now painting brake calipers is done purely for aesthetic purposes. It does not yield any performance increments whatsoever. A lot of sports cars come with painted calipers straight from the factory. A lot of uh, entry level crossovers have now started coming with uh, painted calipers. Case in point, uh, the Kia Sonnet, the Kia Seltos, the Hyundai i20 N-Line. All these cars come with uh, painted calipers straight from the factory. Today, I'm going to show you how to paint these brake calipers by yourself. Now, painting any surface requires a lot of surface preparation and that's very important to ensure that the paint adheres to the surface properly. And that's very important for painting your calipers as well. You can already see that uh, the calipers on my car were painted before and uh, these are remnants of whatever that remains. I had applied uh, heat resistant paint from uh, Rustolium before, which is this one. And it stayed for quite a long time. Uh, I was doing a lot of uh, repairs on the calipers and uh, you know bleeding brakes, changing the pads etc. So when you use a lot of uh, uh, alcohol to clean the surface here, all these paint uh, goes off eventually. So what we are going to do is uh, get rid of all this old uh, paint from the surface of the calipers as you can see here and uh, give it a proper uh, cleaning and apply two coats of primers followed by two coats of uh, the top coat and for cleaning the best way to do it is to use a wire brush so it reaches all the surfaces here but if you want to save time what i'd recommend is get a cup grinder attachment like this which has fine bristles have an m12 uh, bolt inserted and secure it with a nut on the other side this cup brush uh, attachment goes for an angle grinder but we are going to use it with a drill because every household has a drill so we'll attach it to this and give it a nice uh, cleaning all over but ensure that you don't uh, damage any of these surfaces here so you are going to have to wrap this properly and before you do the coating you will have to cover all this area with uh, newspaper or something so you know you don't uh, apply the coat on painted uh, panels plus you will also be covering the discs with the uh, wrapper and only the exposed part of the caliper would be visible where the paint is going to be sprayed and uh, this time I'm not using any heat resistant spray instead uh, I'm going to be using a normal spray from Berger which is available in uh, most paint shops and this one can be used on wood, metal etc. So I'm going to show you how to do this it's pretty simple uh, before you attempt to clean the surface ensure that you wear ample eye protection and a mask because a lot of uh, brake dust and uh, you know paint and grime is going to come out of this while you're cleaning so ensure that you wear proper protection for your eyes and nose Once that's done, start uh, covering off uh, all the unwanted parts where uh, you know you don't want the paint to be applied. Once you've covered this, ensure that you block all the you know the bleeder pins and all these uh, rubber grommets here with masking tape. Before attempting to do the primer painting ensure that you cover the fender area sufficiently so you know the spray does not get applied to the coated uh, surfaces now for primer i'm using sheen lax uh, aerosol uh, spray paint this is available in most uh, hardware shops that deals with uh, paints it can be used on steel wood and plastic now before uh, painting i just wanted to tell you that uh, you need to hold the spray can at least 30 to 45 centimeters away from the surface that you want to get painted and give it uh, in oscillating motions while uh, giving it a coat and uh, do not hurry it do not uh, take the can close to the surface because then paint will start dripping you don't want that now that's done give it sufficient time to dry and then we'll do the second coating of the primer now you can see that uh, this caliper has been dried properly 
Now we'll give it uh, a second coat of primer, followed by a short wait period until it dries off, and then we'll uh, coat it with a final coat. So round two of the primer. Ensure that you give sufficient breaks. This is going to take some time. So do it slowly. The results are going to be rewarding. That's all. Now we have to wait. Now we come to the final step where we put the top coat or the final coat on the calipers. As you can see, this is now completely dry. Just shake the can well. Let it dry. We'll give it a second coat uh, after this one dries off. Now we'll go for round two of the top coat. That completes the top coat. Now we have to leave it to dry. Now do the same activity on the other wheel as well. The best thing to do would be once you're done cleaning, do it on one caliper proceed for the next one and uh, repeat the process until you are done with the uh, final coats for both the calipers. Give it ample time to dry before you remove all this because the paint would be wet now. Alright guys, here is a final result uh, of painting the brake calipers. They've come out quite okay. Now we'll install the wheels. They look quite contrasting compared to the black shade. Here is the final result. The calipers have come out uh, quite well. I've done it on the other side too. So I hope uh, you guys like this video. Let me know if you have any queries or comments. Thank you guys.